Okay, okay, okay. I've heard you guys. The intro sketches are too long. Get on with the video. Show me my deals. I got good news for you guys. The good news is, we've just doubled the budget on the intro sketches. Let's do it. I've got this really weird problem every time I buy a game at retail. Let me, let me show you. Hey, how's it going? Uh, can I get a Big Mac, please? Can I order a Big Mac, please? Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Okay, so this is what happens pretty much every time. I don't know about you guys, but the reason that we moved completely to digital is because of this mess that keeps happening. Where every time you buy a new game at retail, they always seem to mix up which packet the game goes in, which packet the big man goes in. <laughs> and that never happens when you buy a digital. Let me know if someone wants this, by the way, and I can send it to you. <laughs> it won't have the Big Mac on it. <laughs> well, that was an intro. That was one heck of an intro. Leave a comment down below. Let me know that you're wanting this copy of the Division 2, and it is all yours. I will send it out to one lucky winner that will pick from the comment section. Because apparently that's what we're doing now. And before any of you complain, this is, I'm gonna feed this to my dog. It's not going to waste. Hey there, I'm just wondering if I can return this Big Mac. Yeah, it, uh, it was like jammed into a game case. Right, right, right. YouTube sent me this email today uh, with a report on my views for my subscribers versus non-subscribers. And they, they asked me to take a look at it and talk to you guys about it as well. I'll pop it up on the screen now so you guys can see it as well. They're concerned about my subscriber versus non-subscriber ratio being a little bit off and being a little bit weird. I, I'm not really sure what happened to it personally, uh, but in YouTube's email to me, they've recommended that I ask all of you guys to hit the subscribe button down below if you're not already subscribed because all my analytics are messed up and, and it'll help fix them if you guys do that for some reason. I don't really, look, I don't really mind either way. I'm, I'm, I'm easy peasy with it. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but YouTube are telling me to do it and YouTube are kind of my boss. So I, I feel like I kind of have to pass that message on from them. So there's that as well. YouTube also said at the bottom of the email, make sure you tell all of your existing subscribers to uh, smash the living daylights out of the like button uh, to help you out with the YouTube algorithm. So if you guys could go ahead and, and smash the living daylights out of the, the thumbs up button for me, um, that would also help me out. I mean, if you don't like the video, you can hit the dislike button too. Both of them work the same way. So it, it, it doesn't really matter which one. <laughs> All right, so a couple of days ago, Sony released a sale called Games Under 15 Bucks. This is one of quite literally like 10 sales that Sony have running at the moment because they cannot help themselves and they love our money so much that they want to keep making sales, but they don't want to improve the piece of garbage that is the PlayStation Store, which you cannot navigate for the life of you. I still can't navigate it for the life of me, and I use it. For my job, all of the games in here are under 10 bucks, and they're all pretty good as well. Not everything in here is your magnum opus, Horizon Zero Dawn, or God of War. There is a bunch of stuff in here that's that's double A, some triple A as well, uh, some remasters, things like that. But I, I think all these games are worth it. I wouldn't recommend them if I didn't think they were worth checking out, especially for the price they get to. First game, Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. You guys have heard me talk about this one pretty frequently, I would say. This is one of my favorite games on the PlayStation 3. Really, really cool RPG game developed by Capcom with, I think, some of the best combat. In fact, I'm going to claim it. The best combat in any RPG game that I've played to date. And I'll fight you on that as well. So come at me in the comment section. I dare you. It's 10 bucks, 67% off, and it's a superb game where you play as this character called the Arisen. I think it's called the Arisen. And you have these characters called Pawns, which are basically these NPCs that you can create and you can hire from your friends as well. And you have to go and play in this big open world to kill this dragon uh, who, who can talk, who stole your heart. I think that's the plot. I, it's been a while since I played it. I'm pretty, that sounds convoluted enough to be the plot of a Capcom based game. It's actually developed by the team who made the Devil May Cry games. Hence probably why the combat system is just so fine. It also has these really cool mechanics where you can climb on monsters backs and, and take them out. So it's very similar to Shadow of the Colossus in that sense. Uh, really, really good RPG though. Uh, Infamous Second Son is discounted 50% off down to 10 bucks. Perfect price point for this one, I would say. Any of these first party hits titles at 10 bucks are a good deal. Uh, if you're going to get a PS5 anytime soon, scrap this one completely because it will be free on the PlayStation 5 as part of the PlayStation Plus collection. If you want to know more about that, I made a video about it on the channel, so you can click on my channel and look for that and you'll be able to find it. 10 bucks, a uh, really fun game where you play as a superhero or a, a guy who's got superpowers at least in this world where superpowers are kind of not a thing. And uh, yeah, it's fun. It's a, it's, a, it's a fun game. Tom Clancy's The Division 2 Standard Edition. This has been cheaper than this before. Keep in mind, I think it's been down to like 4 bucks or $4.99. Uh, I still think it's worth it. it $8.99, 70% off. You're getting so much content in the Division 2 for this price, and they continue to support it with new content, new season passes as well. So Ubisoft are doing a great job continuing to support this game as a live service offering well after its initial launch. 
because of that, I'm gonna continue recommending it, even at this higher or slightly higher price point, because I think it's well worth your time. Uh, especially if you play it with friends, you're gonna have so much fun going through the raids and the quests and things like that with friends in the game and then in the end game as well. Uh, Mortal Kombat X is down to five bucks at 75% off. Same situation here. If you own or you're going to get a PlayStation 5, don't worry about this one because it's free on PS5 as well. Uh, if not though, five bucks for a fighting game like this is pretty damn awesome i would say this mortal kombat franchise is obviously very well known for its pedigree in fighting this game here is great as well i don't know if it's like the pinnacle of the franchise but it plays pretty damn well and if you're looking for something that's cheap to get your fighting fix in five bucks you can't really go wrong with that rayman legends same situation from ubisoft five bucks 2d side scrolling game here that's very fast paced and hectic uh, but again five dollars for these hits games just absolutely they're just an absolute steal at that price and well worth it i'd say you know when games get down to that five dollar price point the amount of risk associated with picking them up is very low so even if you don't enjoy it it's it's five bucks at the end of the day right uh, far cry 4 down to six dollars and 59 cents again massive massive first person game here in this open world you're getting 50 60 hours worth of content and story missions and side quests for set less than seven bucks it's a ubisoft game so it follows all the same tropes of ubisoft of collecting towers and uncovering the map and destroying bases and doing side quests and collecting stuff but pretty fun game here as well uh, and the far cry franchise is fantastic it's always something i recommend and it can kind of help get you prepped for the new far cry game that's coming out later on this year man of Adan is basically until dawn but a different games made by the same studio uh, and it's, it's part of this anthology of games that this this team is making uh, about horror and it's, it's these narrative driven adventure games I suppose where you're picking choice and consequence and things like that like Until Dawn, Heavy Rain, all of those style games uh, but slightly different sitting here you're on a boat and uh, it's, it's, it's not as scary as those ones and I'd say it's not quite as polished as any of those games either but if you want to continue your enjoyment from Until Dawn or Heavy Rain or Detroit because you really like that style this is another game in that same style but it may not be as high quality so keep that in mind. Uh, I do recommend this one pretty frequently as well Dead Island Definitive Edition and Dead Island Riptide both down to four dollars really really cool first person RPG zombie games set on this island so they're super colorful and bright but they're still about that sort of horror and zombies uh, they aren't probably as good as Dying Light at this point which is the predecessor to these games but if you're looking for basically Fallout with zombies then this is as close as you're ever going to get who knows what happened to Dead Island 2 that was a thing that was supposed to be happening and it's just kind of disappeared uh, but yeah they're basically Fallout style RPG games Western RPG games uh, with zombies both of them are really good but Dead Island 1 is you know not Riptide Dead Island 1 is the one I would recommend the most Sherlock Holmes and the Devil's Daughter is a really cool uh, detective style game uh, it's five bucks as well 90% off this one has an easy platinum to it as well for trophy hunters out there it's Sherlock Holmes you're a detective you're solving crimes pretty fun but uh, yeah it's, it's a, a double A game so keep that in mind absolutely superb the battery on my camera died and I lost the entire back half of this video it died somewhere around Sherlock Holmes I'm gonna try and record the rest of the video being as enthusiastic as I was the first time I recorded the video, but I know I'm not I'm not gonna be as enthusiastic because I, I, I lost half a video, so. Let's let's keep going, let's keep moving. You know what would make me feel a lot better though, right now, is if, if you guys went and, if, and, and tapped on that subscribe button a little bit, just go on, go on, go on, go on tap that button. If you haven't tapped it already, just go on, go and hit that. That's gonna make me feel a ton better after losing half of my video. Next up we have the Technomancer. This is a third person narrative driven game that I feel like is heavily inspired by Mass Effect but is nowhere near as good as Mass Effect. It's a double A game that takes these Western RPG mechanics and sci-fi elements and kind of tries to meld them together to create this weird cheap version of Mass Effect and this studio here actually have made a, a game that's very similar to Dragon Age as well so I feel like they really do admire Bioware and, and the team behind Bioware and and those games, hence why they're kind of aping their style. Deus Ex Mankind Divided is the better version of Cyberpunk. It, it does Cyberpunk better than Cyberpunk. And yeah, I said that. That's what, what are you gonna do about it? This game is $4.49, 85% off. You play as this augmented character called Adam Jensen. Uh, he's in this kind of near dystopian future. And the coolest part about this game is you can choose how you want to play it. You want to play it loud or stealthy or powerful. Uh, you, can, you can augment your character in any way you want and you can choose to tackle missions and situations in completely different ways with different outcomes and different results. So really neat. So a really neat different style of game here uh, with a bunch of choice and options. And it's, it's super cheap as well. When this game came out, 
the first one, when that came out on the PS3 and the 360, well, the, the new rebooted versions of them, I should say, um, it came out and was very well received, but when this one came out, it kind of just went under the radar of a lot of people, I think, hence why it's probably so cheap now. Lords of the Fallen is three bucks, and I recommend this pretty frequently as well because it does get down to this $3 price point kind of often. It's essentially a Dark Souls style game, but a cheaper version of a Dark Souls game. It came out before any of the Dark Souls games actually came out on PS4, and this was the only Souls-like for a while on PS4, and it was really good when that was the case. Now though, we have Bloodborne, Dark Souls, uh, we have Demon Souls on PS5, we have Sekiro, we have Neo, we have so many of these Souls style games that, you know, this game probably isn't as good as any of those, but if you don't have much money to spend and you're looking for a cheap Souls like game to play, it is competent enough and it, it does the job enough that I think you're going to have a good time with it. But if you have a little bit more money, I would suggest going and buying a Souls game, a Neo game, or Bloodborne, which I think is 12 bucks at the moment as well. So. If you're on a budget and it's tight, this could be an option, but I wouldn't recommend it over any other Souls game. Okay, these last two kind of fall into the same camp. Uh, the Bunker and the Infectious Case of Dr. Decker. One is $5.84, the other one is $7.99. Both of these are FMV style games where you have an actor playing the character of the, the, the protagonist in the game. Uh, you have to kind of, they're, they're adventure games to a degree as well, where you're kind of picking choices and making decisions and watching that play out. So it does feel a little bit like a movie or a TV show that you're watching and kind of interacting with along the way. Um, they're both made by Wales Interactive or published by Wales Interactive who do all the FMV games. They've kind of bought this little subgenre back uh, and modernized it because it used to be a thing and then it went away because it kind of sucked. And they've done a pretty decent job of bringing it back. For Trophy Hunters, both of these games are pretty straightforward Platinums as well, so you can get a Platinum in a couple of hours. But for any of you guys who are just wanting to play a game, uh, they're actually just really fun, narrative-driven adventure games that I, that I highly recommend. The Bunker isn't scary, but it is a little bit creepy. Uh, I would say it's more of a suspense-driven game. Uh, and then Dr. Decker, it's probably the same thing. It's more suspense and, and mystery in it, uh, rather than horror. Bunker does seem like a horror game from the outset, but it's not a horror game, so I wanted to call that out as well. All right, there you go. 15 games discounted below 10 bucks in the under $15 sale. I hate saying it, it just sounds so stupid to say. But there you go, F 15 games. I should have said 15 games for $15. That would have been a way better title. I, I, I need some sleep, hey, I, I'm not... I'm not sleeping very well, guys. I'm not sleeping very well. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you who watched this video. If you did watch it, give it a thumbs up. That would be fantastic. If you're a new viewer, hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see all you gamers in the next video. Bye for now.